So, I've been extremely quiet on this uh, YouTube channel for the last month because the last month was absolutely freaking crazy. So, um, I did continue getting some footage of what I did. I just did not have the time to edit and put everything in a vlog. So, um, what I've decided to do, it'll, it's not exactly outdated in the material because I think it's still relevant. So, I'll um, upload some of the footage, some of the edits I've done the last month. But I'll always include like an intro and an outro um, just to create some context. So, um, the episode you'll be watching today is for Wednesday and a Thursday afternoon early on in October. It was still extremely dry. We didn't have any rains yet because, face it, we only got the majority of our rains during last week. How crazy were those floods in Johannesburg? So but before the rains, um, everything was extremely dry. So, um, there was a fire. That's what this episode is about. Uh, Wednesday afternoon, teaching again. It's such a nice lecture actually with, with the second year today. Um, one thing that came out that I really want to share, and I've actually been talking about it uh, uh, for a while now, but I haven't really, um, I don't think I've included it in the vlog. When we teach, one of the biggest things or biggest factors for teaching is that you need to have the attention of the learners. Many times teachers would say, um, I'm, oh, where's your attention or why aren't you paying attention? Why are we as teachers not asking the question, what are you spending your attention on? Okay, where is your attention? And then instead of trying to take the learner away from their attention, or where their attention is and get their attention focused on you why don't we move to where their attention is yes of course it's a lot of work then it's more work than just teaching as you always have but that makes you more relevant when you start teaching where the attention is so I was busy recording another video at home um, for for the lectures that I'm teaching um, it's Thursday afternoon, by the way, so I just started hearing this uh, the sound I was wondering what's going on <laughs> So went outside to see that the that the reserve is burning Just let me try and find a, a nice uh, vantage point but The fire is uh, I, I Think it's a it should be a controlled fire though I, I hope <laughs> but let's see if I can show you it's difficult to see through this clear view fencing so I'm going to look for a vantage point quickly
there you have it me practicing being a firefighter now a lot of you are going to laugh at me with my um, very small hose pipe trying to douse that fire it was basically just to keep the grass wet to uh, try and ensure that it won't catch flame but yo, uh, a very big fire but luckily the fire department was there and they sorted everything out before the flame actually jumped into our complex so wow uh, quite quite an interesting afternoon um, so if you if you liked it subscribe to this channel I post uh, I try and post regularly but the whole idea is so that you can see what actually happens in the life of a super teacher what, what's happening in my life um, because teachers aren't just those little machines that uh, that students put off or that the staff put off at the end of the day and then they just pack you away in a cupboard and then the next morning they just restart you and you're ready for the day we are actually human beings we are actually normal people so i want to i want to share a, a bit of my life and everything else that i do um on this channel of course the other channel that i'm running is uh, super teachers unite that's more uh, educational and uplifting and motivational for teachers this is more about just my life and sharing with you guys what i'm what i'm doing in my life um very exciting times ahead but before we get there, I'd like to catch up on what happened the last month. So um, stay tuned to see uh, what else I did in October.